Here we are in the 2600 block of Windsor in Ravenswood Garden and uh, we're just taking a look at some of the housing here. We've got a, a neat prairie style. It's, it's kind of unusual. It's a one-story prairie house with just a little room for an au pair or a maid. That's typically how they get used um, over here. Here's the uh, house of uh, old parks boss Ed Kelly. He's not in the neighborhood anymore, but this is where he lived for a good 30, 40 years. Houses in Ravenswood Garden can sell um, anywhere in the mid-fours um, if they uh, are in need of some work up to over a million dollars if they're on a nice large lot and have been fully renovated. And um, the, you know the market's a little transitional right now, but this particular sub-market in Chicago. Transitional means continuing to plunge? Well, yeah, prices are heading lower. And a big part of that phenomenon originally was the pullback of spec builders. You know, you've got guys who are willing to build a new house and maybe sell it for more than a million dollars. And so, you know, they'll pay $350, $450 for a house with, you know, an old kitchen and maybe one bathroom and tear it down. But they're gone now. And they had driven the price from the mid threes up into, you know, up into almost 600 thousand for a lot around here anticipating they'd sell a house for a, a new house for a million six and uh, in the last couple of years that market just hasn't materialized and there's a lot of new homes up here that have a big price tag and um, a lot of market time and uh, people should be able to get a good deal if they want to buy something like that but you know over here as I was saying hardly any of the houses have been torn down and that's west of western out to say Kedzie um, but one of the uh, things going for this neighborhood is there's a school, the local school, the water school, has recently had a really neat um, remake. They addressed the needs of the building a few years ago and have re-landscaped the place in the last year. We'll go over and see it in a couple of minutes, but they have transformed this campus into something that uh, I don't think too many public schools have anything like it. It's uh, quite a, a naturalist paradise, and there's a garden back there that uh, you just won't believe. A, a real garden, not, a, not yeah. a sunken garden. Oh yeah, a real garden. What uh, is that? A, uh, what grades does that school cover? Um, K through eight. K through eight. Yeah, and they actually have some pre-K, uh, a tuition-based pre-K over there that's pretty popular. Um, and it's a Chicago Public School. Yes. Chicago. Neighborhood or magnet? Neighborhood school, and I, you know. Uh, well, even still, a lot of the kids in the neighborhood ship out to the uh, more academically challenging schools, the magnet schools, and um, down to Newberry. Um, that's one of the schools I know a lot of the kids have gone down to. But uh, recently, uh, parents are taking a second look at the school here, getting involved. There's a, a real strong volunteer cohort now over there, good parental involvement. And um, so the local kids are starting to go to that school, and we think it will turn around. A big part of the turnaround was they changed principals a few years ago. Um, the fellow who had been there before was pretty much statusized with the status quo, and um, the neighbors pretty much weren't. So somebody, uh, somebody new in, she's younger, uh, more energetic, and um, she's got a following and support. So why don't we can go over and have a look at that place? Sounds good.